uh, so hi everyone in this particular video we will be talking about a few major LM families and their uh, poignant features so eventually uh, we will be talking about the architecture the parameters they use and what makes them different from others so let's get started so we will be first of all talking about the most interesting one the GPT family which comprises of GPT 3.5 3.5 turbo GPT 4 now uh, so it does include multiple other mo uh, models also like GPT-2 but we are not talking about the non-prominent ones that is why I'm just considering 3.5, 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4. So actually talking about the architecture, GPTs are based on a decoder part of a transformer. So transformers if you remember from the 2016 attention is all you need paper. Uh, this transformer is talking about that particular transformer architecture where we have an encoder and decoder part. So basically the encoder part went to the BERT and the decoder part is called as GPT. Chat GPT is based on the, one of the variants of this GPT family as you must be knowing that is GPT 3.5. Talking about the parameters, GPT 3.5 has uh, 175 billion parameters. That's humongous. And GPT 4 is like uh, 10 times bigger. That is 1760 parameters. That is nearly some 1.76 trillion parameters it has. It's humongous. You must be hearing of a new model coming in that is GPT 3.5 Turbo. So what I have read about is that it is more of an optimized and enhanced version of GPT 3.5 with reduced number of parameters. That is around 20 billion parameters only and very very good with natural language processing task. Apart from that, uh, all the models that we have in the GPT family, GPT 4 is only multimodal. That means that it can handle different types of data formats like audio, images, videos, etc. So you must be hearing that people are providing a prompt and is generating images. That is what we call about multimodal that you gave it a text input and you got an image. Next family that we are talking about is Llama by Meta. So Llama and Llama 2 also were the sec uh, uh, came into news for some time. And eventually Llama 2 was able to outperform chat GPT. That is uh, GPT 3.5 at multiple matrices. So talking about the architecture. Uh, Lama basically follows the transformer architecture. So rather than just picking a decoder part as GPT is doing, it picks up the whole architecture. Talking about parameters, so comparing the parameter size, it is uh, comparatively smaller than the GPTs. So Lama first was around 65 billion and Lama second was nearly 70 billion. It is told that Lama 2 was trained on nearly 40% more data as compared to Lama first version. Uh, a new concept that the Lama family bring in was the safety and security. So basically, if you ask it like how to make a bomb, eventually it will refuse. That might not be the case with the initial versions of chat GPT. So security and safety was something that uh, the meta team has uh, thought a lot on. Apart from that, as I told you earlier, only Lama to the best performing model as of now from the, this particular family is at par with GPT 3.5. But again, it is not able to beat GPT 4. GPT 4 is still the king. Uh, one of the models that is in news for a very long time now is Mistral. Basically, Mistral is a French startup uh, which came into limelight with its Mistral 70 billion, uh, 7 billion model, which has outperformed Llama 13 billion model. So basically, uh, with half the parameters, it was able to beat a, mo a model that was uh, offered by Meta. So that was a big deal at that time. Talking about the architecture again, these models are based on a decoder part of the transformer, similar to GPT. Now, if you look into the parameters, Mistral, the first version that was released was, had 7 billion parameters and now the new model that has re released very recently has 84 billion parameters, that is Mistral. So, Mistral is not a, your genuine, is your general LLM, but I will be talking about it. So, basically, it is a mixture of experts model. And also, uh, as written in the documentation, though, it says that it has 84 billion parameters, but when you load it into the memory, uh, it it requires computing power similar to 14 billion, uh, LL, 14 billion LLM. So nearly one-fifth the uh, computing power is required. Now let's talk about what is mixture of experts model. So mixture of expert model is basically comprised of uh, multiple experts model within the architecture to improve the overall performance. So one thought, if, you, if I give you uh, an informal example, one of the model can be an expert with NLP, other can be an expert with mathematics, something like this. So the basic idea is that when you get a problem in hand, you divide the problem statement among all these experts and eventually using their specialization, you come up with an aggregated answer. It can be taken as an assembling strategy also uh, up to your wish. Apart from that, there is a gating uh, network that is present within this architecture 
which helps you determine which part should go to which expert. So we are not deep diving into mixture of experts for now, but yeah, just to give you an idea, this is what Mixtrel is all about. Moving on to the Flan family, which comprise of Flan T5 and Flan Alpaca. So this is not uh, basically a family. Flan is basically a method of fine tuning, which we call as instruction fine tuning. So in case of general fine tuning, what we do is that we give it an input. That is a feature, write a story on animals and human and the output. Output is the ground truth for fine tuning of LLMs. Now in case of instruction fine tuning, we'll be giving it an instruction also, write a story on a given topic, then the topic and then the ground truth. So eventually the input, the question that we are asking, we are breaking it into two parts. One is the entity about what we want to write a story about, what entity I want to extract the input sentence. And the first one being the instruct, what instruction I want to give. So it is shown that uh, the performance of LLMs has been improved by fine tuning uh, using instruction based fine tuning. So basically talking about the two models, Flan T5 and Flan Alpaca. So Flan T5 is a fine tuned version of the T5 model that offered by Google and Flan Alpaca is a fine tuned version of Llama. So it is not a family, but yeah, you can say that because they follow the same fine tuning strategy, I'm putting it for now in the Flan group. The architecture is a transformer because for both T5 and Llama, we have transformer architecture. Talking about the parameter for the biggest model, they, what Flan Alpaca and Flan T5 XL ha, double XL has, it is 11 billion. And to be honest, I have used it at a personal level also. The results are decent enough, if not great. The last model that we're talking about is the Phi, Phi 1, Phi 1.5 1 and Phi 2, which is offered by Microsoft. So recently you must have heard that Phi 2, which has just nearly 3 billion parameters and outperformed Llama 13 billion and even models with 20 billion or 30 billion parameters. So a model with nearly 20th, one, uh, one by 20th of the parameters is able to outperform these models. So this is the best part about the five models that they are parameter friendly. That means the size is comparatively very, very small as compared to their competitors. And eventually they are delivering good results. The architecture is again transformers only. Uh, the parameters in five one and five 1.5 is 1.3 billion only. That's very, very small. And Phi 2, which has released just a couple of days back, has 2.7 million parameters. Also, it is said that Phi 2 is able to beat models that are nearly 10 cross the size as compared to Phi 2. Like Llama 13 million, as I told you, and even Chat GPT for some tasks. So it is that good and it is more production friendly because in production, when you will be deploying LLMs, eventually cost and the resources that you are consuming becomes a very, very big question. So in that case, Phi model can be a great game changer. Apart from that, I'm not able to discuss about Claude, which is also similar, uh, giving similar results at GPT 3.5, but with a lesser number of parameters, Cohort, Palm by Palm and T5 by Google and Falcon. So I would suggest you to just experiment with them also. Uh, with this, let's wrap it up. I hope you experiment with all these LLMs.